Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to share a recent creation uh, that I completed with you. And uh, this is, in my opinion, a Gundam. So I am a Gunpla modeler. I put together Gundams, which are Japanese mecha, and I'm incredibly into this hobby. It's, it's really been really wonderful lately. It's very zen-like. Um, you prune parts off of a... Uh, you prune parts off of a sprue, and it, it's really like pruning a bonsai. It's really incredible. It's a really delightfully calm, relaxing hobby uh, that doesn't cost a lot of money. Now, I hear you. You're like, wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about, Scott? That's not a Gunpla. That's a Star Wars model. Well, it's not, actually. <laughs> so, uh, this is a branded Star Wars model. It's a uh, Pose Boosted X-Wing Fighter. And um, I'm going to show you the model I completed in just a moment, but I wanted to show you the box. This is a really incredibly uh, delightful product. So Bandai um, distributes uh, Gundam models in the United States of America, and they've done it for a long time. And this, what I'm about to show you is a Gundam model in that it was made literally in the same factories Gundams are made. Um, and it is made in the same way, same way that a Gundam model is made. It is uh, created uh, without, it's a model that's built without glue. It's engineered very, very carefully. Uh, it's the pride of Japan. And it's truly one of the best um, model kits you can really buy when it comes to quality. Um, and what's really incredible is because Star Wars is so powerful, um, Bandai was willing to make Gundam, was willing to make Star Wars models with literally the same equipment, the same quality, the same uh, attention to detail that they build Gundams with. So I'm going to show you the created model. And uh, let me bring it in here into view. All right, so this is my completed uh, Poe Dameron. Um, uh, yeah, Poe Dameron's boosted X-Wing. And so I just recently completed this. Uh, it's really quite special. I really like it. You can see, I'm going to put my hand in here, just so you can see the scale, right? It's about a hand's width, maybe five, six inches across. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this is Poe's uh, boosted X-Wing with the black and orange, uh, with the gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous black and orange detailing. Uh, I have a BB-8 model in there. Um, it's really quite amazing. So I'll show you, so when... When you get these Gundam type models, there's lots of ways that they're built. Um, so this is a stand that actually came with it. Uh, this model was, uh, I think, about $25. It's more expensive than traditional Gundam. So the, the, the Star Wars ones are more expensive than the traditional Gundam. And I'm just going to show you here uh, the model itself. Really, really, uh, it, took a, it took me about three to four hours to build. Um, and it probably took three weeks, so I don't really build these in, in you know, in one go. Uh, there's no glue for these, right? And uh, I wanted to show you something real quick. So the the wings actually splay, right? Just like a real X-wing. Pretty incredible. Uh, I was just thrilled with how well this came out. So I just showed this to you and I got all braggy about it and showing you what a good job I did. But now I want to talk about what a bad job I did uh, at the same time. Uh, just to encourage people. So let me give you a good example. Yeah, here we go. It's perfect. So right there, you can see a blemish uh, about near the bottom of the cone, right? And that's called flashing, right? And uh, so I, I use a file on these and I try to do the best I can. But I like to keep moving on these models. I like to build them. I don't like them to take, you know, forever, like 8, 10, 12 hours on a build, right? So I don't put any stickers on. And the reality is I will file them down so they're smooth. But there's a lot of flashing on this, right? And real Gundam experts would just be appalled. They would be ashamed to put their names on this. But I'm quite proud of it. And uh, and one of the reasons why I'm, I'm showing you this, like if you look, you can see like there's just a lot of uh, inaccuracies in it, right? But the reason why I'm telling you that and showing it to you is so you won't be discouraged, right? You should jump in and, and just start, have fun with it. You don't get better until, and actually, I'm not, I'm never going to get better. I don't, I don't really have any 
interest in building these to a higher level of quality. I'm thrilled with this. I'm really, really like it. And I have a display case and I put them in there and I'm very proud of these. And uh, it's just for me, you know, and uh, but I and, and now you. Thank you for taking the time to let me share this with you. Uh, if you're not doing Gundams, uh, you should really consider it. Uh, they are really an amazing hobby. Uh, just really delightful, relaxing, awesome. So, so that is uh, Poe Dameron's boosted X-wing, built by J. Scott Garibay, built by the the proud Japanese engineers who build Gundams. I'm so proud of this thing. I really am glad. I really appreciate you letting me share it with you today. If you are uh, if you are a good modeler, uh, definitely you know do do Gundam. Try it out. If you've never done these before, they are uh, a regular Gundams can be got gotten for as low as fifteen bucks. And you will need um, about ten dollars worth of tools, but um, it's just really clippers, not not a whole lot. This is a fantastic hobby. Thanks again for letting me share it with you. Have a um, please if you if you do Gundam, let me know. If you don't do Gundam and you saw uh, Poe Dameron's boosted X-wing, let me know what you think of that particular fighter. Uh, please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.